As per the request of my sister, let's talk about some evolution stuff. Specifically, kind of about why aren't we fish still? Why did we come up here? Everybody meet Grandpa, better known as Tiktaalik, the very first vertebrate to ever come up out of the water and onto land. Before Grandpa decided to haul his scaly tail up onto land, we were all aquatic fish reptile guys. We didn't come up on land and we pretty much couldn't. Now there were other things on land, of course. There were plants and fungi and invertebrates such as giant centipedes, but no vertebrates yet. It was a no-bone zone. But then Tiktaalik decided to evolve lungs and venture up onto Earth. And okay, that's not exactly what happened. The evolution of lungs had been happening for a while. This is Pendrichthys, a type of ancient fish that did share a lot of traits with modern tetrapods. Tetrapods being all four-legged vertebrates, including reptiles and amphibians, as well as birds and mammals. So while Pandorichthys is still classified as a fish, it did have a lot of traits that are found commonly in tetrapods, including breathing air instead of water. That would be somewhat similar to modern lungfish, a type of obligate air-breathing fish that do technically have gills, but they don't work very well. So in order to actually breathe, they have to go to the surface to breathe water. I mean, nope, wrong, incorrect. Breathe air through their lungs instead of water. But why did air breathing and lungs evolve? Why go through all of that pressure and changes to evolve an entirely new breathing system. Well, there was a lot of stuff going on in the water. It was very, very heavily populated, and land was a pretty much open niche at the time. Like I said before, the only things up there were plants, fungi, and invertebrates. There were no, like, vertebrate large mammals or animals at all that existed on land. So it's an entirely new, empty niche. However, to take advantage of that niche, you need to be able to breathe air. Also, in oxygen-depleted waters, where there's a very, very low concentration of oxygen dissolved in the water, it's pretty hard to breathe with gills. But there's a whole lot of oxygen-rich space going directly up out of the water into air. So to take advantage of this new oxygen-rich area, lungs evolved to allow us to breathe air. And thus, that enabled us to crawl out of the water onto land and become pretty much every other type of vertebrate other than fish. So after Grandpa crawled up onto land, he began to diversify and became pretty much every other vertebrate other than actual fish. That's how you got reptiles, amphibians, birds, mammals, all of us here because he decided to come up out of the water. Okay, again, not exactly. There was a heavy evolutionary pressure to evolve out of the water onto land because again, it was almost an entirely empty niche that could very, very easily be taken advantage of out of the much more crowded aquatic vertebrate scene. But why did some of us being land vertebrates go back? Why do we have things like whales and dolphins and manatees and seals that are entirely or almost entirely aquatic? All of the aquatic vertebrates other than actual fish were land vertebrates at some point. This is one of the earliest whale ancestors, and this is a modern whale. So modern whales and dolphins and all of them were on land at some point a long time back in their evolutionary history after they diverged from Tiktaalik. But as you can see, they gradually became more and more aquatic again. 
Why? Well, that's because the land was getting pretty freaking crowded. There was a lot of diversification going on, and these previously very empty niches were filling up very quickly. So a lot of the ancestors of the now aquatic vertebrates, again, such as whales and dolphins, they were like, screw this, I'm out, and decided, not decided, but evolutionarily decided to go back to the water because the water was emptying out pretty quickly of non-fish vertebrates. And so all of the cetacean ancestors, so the whales, dolphins, orcas, all of them, they went back to the water and are now permanently aquatic again, but since they are still mammals, they do have to breathe air. They didn't re-evolve gills. Other mainly aquatic vertebrates, mammals, such as seals and walruses, they also had a mostly or semi-terrestrial ancestor as well. They evolved from guys like these, which were mostly terrestrial, but still occasionally came to swim in the water, and then eventually they just evolved back to being what you see today, mostly aquatic, but still partially terrestrial seals. So all of us guys that went back to the water did so because evolutionary pressures were like, there's too much shit on land, get back in the water. Go back, go back to where you came from. But they are still tetrapods, they're still mammals. We didn't evolve back into fish. Nothing has went from fish to not fish to back to fish. Everything that is not a fish started out as a fish in terms of vertebrates, and everything that is still a fish was always a fish even though fish don't really exist.